Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back! It's day 23. I'm feeling about the same as I did yesterday, so at least I'm not worse. Things can continue here on the one hour limit locked. Let's hope that a brimstone ring has bought- We've got a brimstone ring, baby! Oh, the price fluctuated so much overnight. It was back up to like 5 mil, but it had gone down to like 4 mil at one point, so I was just hoping that it had bought. If you're wondering why I'm in a different place, it's because I was taking a screenshot for yesterday's thumbnail, so I just teleported to Ferox afterwards. I left myself over there. But yeah, let's get on with today. I'm so happy about that. We did manage to get one at a decent price. Let's see if we actually got any money back for it. No, just the brimstone itself. But what a beauty she is. Look at those bonuses, folks. Absolutely beautiful. Got another busy day ahead of us, of course. Plenty to do. That's like half of my gear. I add down that I'd need about 16 mil in total worth of gear for raids. And did we already buy blood bark? I can't remember. Anyway. The Brimstone and the Fury are six and a half mil of that, so it's a lot of progress, basically, towards our actual raid setups and the things that we can use to do all of our training. I said I want to have both of them done before we properly started our training. Granted, we've done some bits of melee training, but we did manage to get them both before starting our bursting, and we've still got a lot of melee training to do, so full value and extra plus four strength and accuracy and defensive. It's going to be real nice to have. And look at all those nests. Oh my gosh, today's going to be a good one, isn't it? I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it today. We're popping off, y'all. We have, of course, got our herbs to do, and then we need to finish off the last fight of the abyss thing. Into the abyss. Oh, we don't have any seeds. Uh, we best go to the GE get some. We got toad flax, but I would rather have Renars, of course. And how much coins do I have? Almost a mil, so we're still good on pocket change, really. So we can buy a few if the price is decent. It's not that great, so I'll just get two days today and tomorrow. Pull them up slightly. In fact, one lot at a premium, and then I'll just put an offer in for another six on that price. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna start here, why not? Once we finish the souls bin, we can finish off the medium diary for Varrock. We can whack our battle staffs out. I'm hoping we should be able to smash out Defender of Varrock with relative ease, which will unlock our bursting spot. Now, the one potential issue I'm foreseeing with that is that we don't really have an efficient way to get on and off ancient magics. We need to be on normals to teleport for these farm runs. Although I could just buy tablets. If I bought teletabs, like a bunch of Varrock ones that I'll be able to go to the GE with, thanks to the diary. Then what else is there? We'd need 40 teletabs. Can you even make those? I don't even know if you can make those. House tabs is fine. Yeah, I haven't figured that out 100% yet, because we'll probably end up with about 15, 20 minutes, I imagine, once we've done Defender of Arok, and I'm not sure if that's long enough to justify going to put ourselves on Ancients when we'll have a herb run straight away the day after. That's basically what I'm trying to, like, figure out. You can get 40 tabs. Okay, for like 900 coins each, but who cares? I might just buy some tabs, just for any days when I'm just on Ancients, because I feel like I'm going to be on Ancients for a while, and rather than just switching back and forth, it makes more sense to stay on, because I don't really have a reason to be on Standard except the farm runs. 
at least I will. Once I've unlocked this burst in spot, we're going to be spending the next few days there, at least, I reckon. It's hard to tell how long until we start to see the rates of XP that we're gaining, but I do want to get up to 65 defense bursting before doing more melee combat training. 70 would even be preferable, but we'll see how quick it goes before I make a decision on that front. Another clean 6 for 6, though. Always lovely to see. Although not the greatest haul, to be fair. Less than previous days. 44 is what it is. Pop over to the G and bang them on, and then we will go finish Soul's Bin. Lovely insta sell there. Alright, Soul's Bin. Let's get ourselves all of our combat gear. Is this our melee setup right now? This. Okay, I'm gonna delete the Slayer tab. I'm gonna add a melee tab. I'm gonna put this shit away. Then I'm gonna, yep, yeah, all lay out that banging. Let's grab ourselves a dig site pendant and super, super attack and strength. Both need tagging. Okay, we get this, 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 this. Already got teleports. I think we are pretty good to go there. So let's not waste any time. We are going to the dig site. To be fair, we've only one fight left. It's kind of a waste to pot, but who cares? We're rich, baby. At least that's how I feel now. I've already got all my bling on. Four mil on the pinky, you know what I mean? You gotta feel a bit rich, aren't you? This thing always reminds me of Oko Oko from Legend of Zelda. I think that was his name. The little bird. Thing. Do I even pot? Let's just take a swing and see what happens. Oh, wait, can I eat poison? I'm not gonna pot, there's no point. <laughs> I swear to god, if I get dialogue interrupted by the poison. Let's go. Quest completed. We have to re-enter the rift. Why the fuck did my character run around there? And then we're gonna get the medium Varrock up. So we can go turn in. Pretty sure we did it all, so... I don't know why I even got it up, to be honest. Excellent, there is another reward and we don't have any cash on us, so we are going to have to just run to the bank, but let's have some agility XP. 7.5k, thank you very much. Go ahead and bank some of this random shite that we don't need. Get an anti-poison, because I'm fed up of having that health bar look horrible. And then we'll grab our spottiness, our boots of lightness. Our cash stack, which is currently 987k, and we are going to get to work, folks. Work? What's he on about? 30 battle staffs, thank you very much. I think that leaves us with 45, and we had 40 orbs, if I remember right, so we'll have 5 spare to sell on the GE for some pocket change. No, it's not set to fucking use. There we go. <laughs> Get some nice, lovely crafting XP, free of charge. I say free of charge, but we did just spend like 400k on these staffs, but never mind that, free of charge. I'm gonna make the bunny back. It's all good. You know, I think it's actually just worth buying the other water orbs because they're that cheap at the minute. Need a little bit more, but it's probably not worth, it's not worth the time. But either way, I have to go to the GE though, because I have to sell the... I should have been moving while I was doing that. I think we just need five more, so... But then we'll have another 30 staffs tomorrow. But I might not want to do this tomorrow, not like every day. I'll just sell all these and we'll alk these. Right, we want a room pouch. We want to get on with Defender of Varrock next. So let's get ourselves the room pouch, get ourselves some nature runes to go with it so we can alk these. Uh, Varrock teleport, mind or all sar, so we'll go combat bracelet for that. We just get a bunch of teleports. I don't need combat gear till like the end, right? Pretty sure. Second bit, okay. Okay, gonna teleport over to the dig site to start. Back over here once again. Gonna make a nice lovely bit of profit on these staffs. Don't know how much we actually spent. 7,000 each and we're alking them for i don't know why it's displaying so weird but 9300 each and there's a bit of run into doing this quest so zero time obviously oh i meant to kill the armored zombies here i did not realize that but i only need a combat gear for the second bit let me see how bad it is it's probably atrocious but we'll see yeah that's not looking good is it okay let's wow we didn't bring any fucking jeweling rings 
Okay, we'll try that again. <laughs> it's a bit silly of me. Whoa, I didn't mean to sit that then. Fuck. I was gonna go reset, but I guess we're not doing. I don't think we need that or that, but we do now need a fucking dig site. Should have brought prayer as well, so I could have just kept Perimelion. on. Wait, I've still got a fucking pickaxe in my hand. What am I doing? What am I actually doing? I said today was gonna be a good day. I lied. Clearly, I lied. This isn't actually as bad as I was expected with a room pick. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my heating down. I got time. No, fuck this. We're teleporting out again. I should have killed that one first, actually, but oh well. Take three. Still in group prayer. That's a good idea. Definitely not leaving again. Please tell me one of them's still low. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Nope, they all healed. Wonderful. Okay. We are gonna have to do that again in a bit. Please tell me I didn't skip it. I have to kill number three here. Oh, we got a Cadentine? That's 7k drop. Hello. This is why I wanted to burst on these guys, because they actually have semi-reasonable drops. So it should like cost us a lot less to just sustain bursting on them, because we'll make our money back in drops. Sorry for the noise right now, I usually turn it down while I'm flicking, but it's only for a short amount of time. Some blood runes. Okay. Okay, we're off. Alright, Varok Palace. Then I'll probably reset at Ferox before going to Camdozel. Do still need some combat gear, so I'm not going to put anything away. Don't think we need the bottles again. We can always pick them up if we do, so I may as well just get rid of. Right, we'll go Monastery. Hopefully I don't have a shit zone conversation to go through this guy. I think we can bank all our combat gear after this. It look like we need it for the very last part, so I may as well keep ourselves lighter while we're running around. We need to talk to him over there, aren't we? Please tell me he appears over here. He's not going to appear until I talk to him over here. I fucking hate it. Oh, oh we have to get a deposit, not just a shard. That might take a few times. I don't know how frequently to come. Oh, there we go. Wasn't too bad. Uh, no, we don't want a frog prince. I don't know if I need to pot here. I probably should. Do they all give them, please? No. Damn. It won't be too high of a drop rate, I don't imagine. It's a good job I did pot though. Please. For fuck's sake, man. This is a piss tick. These are true to believe are. I looked it up earlier. So I can't just buy one on the G. What the fuck? Four rune essence? Nothing. They could at least drop Notador. I mean, come on. Oh, finally, finally. Use that on that. Finish the staffs off as well, so we're all done with them now. Oh, this is a cutscene. I think it's the most one hour limit locked fashion possible. Uh, the, for the entirety of this series, our timer has been covering the chat boxes that are in cutscenes. It's like, yeah, we're gonna skip through this, we don't have a choice. We can't even read it because it's covered up. Have to skip through. <laughs> Just get through it as quick as you can to hold space. It's perfect. We would have the luxury of reading chat boxes here on the one hour limit locked. Okay, I'm just gonna bank everything, get this, and the lightness. That's all I want. And some runes. Let's have a look at our cash stack as well. Very nice. We gained about 200k from those water orbs being put onto staffs. So definitely very nice indeed. We all get ourselves stamina and a couple of energy still because we're going to be running around like a madman. We've got Varrock teleports, so we've got everything else we need. Let's get a jewel in and a wealth because I don't know what we're going to be doing after this. We never even tried our GE teleport, did we? I might do that after this quest. <laughs> just like make sure it works. I love how everyone's just found where they're normally found, even despite the midst of the invasion. Like, the king's not gonna go hide in a safe room or anything, he's just chilling in the same room he normally is. The librarian is just chilling in the library. Man, it would be the last one, wouldn't it? Almost done. 
There we are. Some lovely XP coming through. Let's do this Grand Exchange Teleport. It does work! Yay! Look at us go. Okay, but now let's teleport back over to Varrock because I just remembered there's a 5k experience lamp that you can get by talking to Manus after that quest. We don't really need to carry wealths around if we've got Varrock Tillies on us now then. I might just buy like 30. I can't imagine she's got anything for us, but I'll still talk to her after anyway, just in case. Okay, just one lamp. We will be throwing that on agility as with every other lamp we get for the... forever. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna go over to the Grand Exchange and I am going to get some Teletabs. How much are Camelot ones? 476. Catherby? Because we actually want to go to Catherby. Okay, they're like three times the price. So Camelot is the reasonable one to buy. We'll get ten of those. Varrock? We want just for the GE purposes, but let's just get a few of them. Fortis, they're quite expensive, but we'll get a few of them. Camelot ones didn't buy it yet. There we are. Oh, it doesn't even know what the Fortis ones are, Rune Light. Okay, what else do we need? Got RD, we've got Falador, we've got Cassaby, Fortis, and then we got the other two. So yeah, I literally just want to get these into this tab, because, yeah, that's just going to make my life easier, isn't it? If I do that, I don't even particularly need the Varrock one here, but that will make my life a lot easier, especially when we are on the Ancient Spellbook, because guess what? I'm going to go put myself on the Ancient Spellbook. Before we do, let's have a look at our rune supply, because we're going to need an awful lot more. An awful lot more. So let's figure it out. Right now we're on 63 magic, which means we can cast Smoke Burst, which is... Death, Chaos, Air and Fire, and that's probably what we're going to be doing until Ice Burst at 70, which isn't going to come anytime soon, so... Chaos, Air, Fire, Chaos, Air, Fire, Chaos, Air, Fire, okay. Spending a lot of my money here. Okay, I'm going to go get the Air and Fire runes from elsewhere, and also just get myself a Dragon Bone Necklace. Right, we'll run over to Varrock Rune Shop. I'm preparing myself for a few days of solid burst in here, folks. Just making sure we've got everything together that we can spend a while there. Quick little bit of shopping and hopping. Shit, my money's almost out. Is that all my cash? Have I just spent all my cash? I don't know if we brought it all with us or if that's just a random amount of change that we had from the GE. Well, that's gonna have to do, isn't it? Alright, let's just pop back over there. Just wanna see if we did have more cash or if that was it. Wow, we got 76k right now. Okay, we are going to make a burst setup. So we want all of our mage gear and prayer gear. Oh, we need cash for prayer pots. We need cash for prayer pots. Okay, let's sell these mystics. We don't need those. We need more house teleports as well. Okay, there's a couple things I need to buy here, isn't there? There's a couple things I need to buy. Let's just get rid of the disposable stuff that I was hanging on to just costs. Like rune arrows and mystics, you know. Give us a little bit more expendable money. Because we need prayer pots. I did forget about those. Quite an oversight. But I'll have to do for now. Pretty sure that's like going to be it. Just a bit of food maybe. I can't see that we'll need anything else with us in particular. Dig site to get there. And then a ring of jeweling to get out of there. We need more jewelings as well. Don't forget the house tabs. There's a lot to keep track of here. Okay, we put the house tabs in the farm tab. Let's swap them around. All right, I'm gonna get the camulet and a dueling ring and a dig site. Just grab the bird stuff as well. Right, rub the camulet. We're going to an Acris temple. Should have brought energy. I don't know if I'll need it or not. Should have got that door, that door's closer. Stupid think that door's closer, we'll see. Oh no, that is actually pretty close. I think the other one took me up there, so I think that's probably actually closest. I'm a genius. Okay, we're officially on the Ancients for the foreseeable future. Just want to check that I got those runes right by drawing the pouch. Smoke burst! I need the darts as well. To be fair, they're pretty aggro actually, aren't they? I don't think you need darts to go there. Should we just go do like five minutes at the end of the day? Because I don't know what else to do anyway. We've got a bit of time here. And we're all set up for bursting. It might not be too efficient, but... Oh, we got a clue scroll? 
Never mind, throw all the plans out the window. Oh no, am I really gonna do a clue scroll on Ancients? He's a medium clue though, it could be Ridge Booze. Okay, I wanna change this to Grand Exchange on the left click. Right, we want a uh, Ruby Amulet Castle Wars. It's the outpost. I don't know if I have a Necklace of Passage. I think I might have one charge left, you know. Oh, let's go. Your boy coming in clutch with his one charge. Uh, North of Hosidious. Just because I don't have my house teleports on. I feel like, yeah, AKR. Probably about as quick as going to a bank for house tellies. Wait, do I have my... I don't even have fucking German stuff. Do we have crests? We do. Can we use it? That's actually pretty close, I think. Okay, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. House portal to there from, like, where we ran to here? It's probably about the same distance, isn't it? As using a house tab. Except I don't spend a house tab. I just spend one charge on this useless book. Come on. Casket? Yeah. 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 It's really weird that, like, I've got two minutes, I don't really know what to do with it right now. It's like, we, we don't have time to go do this? Is there any random resources we can- Ooh! Ooh! I know what to do! I know what to do! I know what to do! Not that this'll take long. The farming guild. We're 45 farming, you. There's three new music tracks, and we're gonna trade in our spirit seed for... A U seed, some snape grass seeds, and some garbage. Should we go miscellaneous? Just see what a single day looks like. I don't have anything to chop the tree, so it's staying on 99%. I'm curious what one day looks like when we have like almost a mill in. What? That looked decent. 200k apparently, and it spent 75k, I think, so profit. Get these. Okay, nest. We want all our nests. We want all our useful seeds. Yes, that we might want to sell. Man, none of these selfish shit. Nests up. Dead skills necklace up. Snape grass seeds up. I think that's all that matters, really. Okay, folks. Well, well, well. We spent all our money today. It's all gone. It's all gone. We've got a few herbs that we need to sell, but most of the money. Gone. Gone, gone, gone. But we got a brimstone ring! And we got a dragonbone necklace for our train in there. This thing is beautiful. I'm so happy we got it. I mean, look at us right now. We are actually, like, a burst setup. I don't suppose the boots of lightness were the smartest thing to be wearing. But does it matter? We look so jacked. Like, this is a scary person right here. You will not want to run across them in the wilderness. I wouldn't anyway. Anyway, we're all stocked up on our runes. We're already on the ancient spell book. So tomorrow we are going to be spending a lot of time killing armored zombies in that cave. I'll tell you that thing for sure right now. So I'll just sit down here and get a, a nice little... Oh, what a nice way to close out today's video. So yeah, we, uh, we're we going to be killing some armored zombies tomorrow. Should we look at the XP tab? Don't know how it's going to look. 68k again today. Tiny bit of crafting. 22k hunter. That's a lot from the quest coming in. 3k magic from our alkin. Tiny bit of farming. 5k strength. 2k hit points. And 12k agility. Thanks to our lamps. With an extra 15 on the smithing from the quests as well. But yeah, 12 and a half k agility from the lamps. Definitely very nice. Up to 51 now. Our overall goal as a reminder for agility is 62. So we've still got a long way to go. But that is a nice leap in the right direction. And everything else is now prepared. We're ready to train. We're ready to properly train on Sulfur Nagua and Armored Zombies. And we're gonna get a lot of stats. I'm super looking forward to it. I don't have any expenditure for the next while. Like, I don't think there's really much that we need to buy before raids at this point. So we just get to stack up a bit of GP for now. I've already got the dragon boots. I can mark that off. Brimstone, I can mark off. I don't think we got the blood bark, did we? Got a DDS, can mark that off. Yeah, we, we've got a lot of it, honestly. We're doing very solid right now. The next goal is that defense. I've just realized I've got Entity Hider on, haven't I? <laughs> I wondered where the fuck everyone was. <gasps> okay, that's because I was taking a screenshot yesterday. Okay. That's more like a RuneScape GE. We're, we're gonna be focusing on that defense level up to 65. 
So that is going to be one of the main plans with our smoke burst, obviously, up until ice burst, and then we'll be using that. But I don't really want to use the ones that cost soul runes or blo extra blood runes, because they are expensive. I'm going to stop rambling on anyway, because y'all y'all know what just happened. Y'all watched it. Y'all saw it. You were there. It happened. It was happening. Money was made. Money was spent. Fuck me. My brain stopped working on it. If your brain stopped working too, make sure you hit the like button. I'm telling you to, so you don't have to use your own mind. And I lovely. Hit the subscribe button too. It's a command from deep above. Deep above. And let's get some hype in the comments for the Brimstone Ring. A big purchase coming in at the top of today that has definitely made our life a lot nicer. Like I say, it's hard not to feel fly when you've got 4 mil on the pinky ring. That's going to be all for this one though. Look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.